Hey guys, so I've got the uh, Burnt Lesnar Ultimate Edition. Um, so they had released this before, but this is kind of like the newer one with the, um, I guess the ponytail and the beard now. Um, I forgot the other one. It's in my storage, so I can't do like a direct comparison with it. Uh, for the most part, it looks like the same sculpt and a lot of stuff that looks similar, you know, trunks and everything too. So. Uh, looks like we get three head sculpts, um, extra fists, two belts. It's like the, um, I guess it's the Raw and the SmackDown ones. Um, get a picture on the side. This is kind of like his new look and all this stuff too. Um, and I think this is pretty new. Can't remember exactly what this is based off of because now Roman's, you know, champion or you know, he's been champion for like two years. I think he's got both belts too still. It's just I haven't stayed in the loop like I did. Um plus too I've been kind of bummed out with like Brock Lesnar kind of getting beat by him a little too much. <laughs> um but that's pretty much it. So all there is left to do is just to crack it crack it open and check it out. Alright, <clears throat> so I got Brock out of the package. Um Pretty much just similarities with the other one. Um, so this mold was used in 2019. I feel like that's when the first Ultimus Brock Lesnar came out. So that's what, three, four years ago, depending on what time frame. Um, so yeah, pretty much same body mold. Um, you know, good work on the tattoo, like this kind of runs through. There's always like some like deviation with like the tattoos, like they change them up a little bit and all this stuff. On the back, they did a good job with that too. Um, the only thing that's weird is like, this part, the tattoo kind of rolls in out like all the way through and this one just kind of stops. So whenever you spread it out, like you see this gap here and then this one's through, so it's a little odd. Um, this tattoo's ran through pretty good. It's like a little paint chip here. Um, and there's kind of like this, hollowness here like the torso part of the upper torso is kind of like a you can yeah it feels a little more hollow or something um but not bad um do get like the um pinless joints on the elbows so those are solid uh still get that you know flat wrist which i hate because i wish it was concave and all that stuff Paint's a little iffy. Looks like some of the tan paint from the fingers kind of rolled over in the gloves. Um, so there's that. Um, you know, Lesnar's spelled out really well. And then, let's see. You can kind of see it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it says Fear and Fury here on this wristband. Uh, same thing here. Um, so that's good. And pretty much the basic trunks, legs are good, double joint knees, um, they don't have the pinless joints. You know, something I wish they do more often. You know, it's kind of like a, a, a thing now, I guess. But overall, it's good, you know. It's got the toe articulation, which is kind of like, you know, usually with a WWE Ultimates versus Elite, you get the, um, you know, the butterfly joints here, and then you get like the toe articulation. So, you know, just kind of adds to it. Uh, I do like the face sculpt. It's kind of like, I mean, it definitely looks like Brock, but it looks like more menacing looking. Uh, if you compare that to the other ones, I really like this face sculpt, just that evil smile. You know, we didn't get a lot of expressions with Brock Lesnar, and, you know, now we're kind of getting more personality out of him, which I've really liked, and kind of hated it go forward with him winning championships and stuff. And then you get this one here, too, which is really good. Like the paint in the mouth and everything's good. That will probably be my uh, thumbnail there. Just holding the belts up and acting crazy. There we go. So, oh yeah, that's that's phenomenal. I love that. Um, so he's got like gripping hands, kind of like the more close gripping hands. Comes with two fisted hands. So. Paint's a little iffy there too. See it like bleed over here on the that. Um, you know, I'm trying to check these over too, but every time I grab one, there's always a little pain issue. And then we have like the more open gripping hands, which, you know, same thing, a little paint spray and but at least they got his name on there really good. 
So, and then we get two belts. Um, I'm assuming this is just like the, uh, I don't know if it's the Raw or just the basic WWE Championship. They've been using this belt for a while too, so you can see it's 2013, so about 10 years. Um, and I like his logos on here too, like they did that. There's a little bit of red over the symbol though. So put this on, well, I don't think we can. Another thing too is I feel like it kind of scraped in here, so I'm gonna put it on this lower part. Yes, um, yeah, it's not gonna fit. Um, I'll try the other one too, but I'll just kind of look it over. My belt's got like a gap here though, and this is the same thing, just 2013. So these belts are pretty much identical, it's just, you know, like I said, a blue or vice versa. Um, so, yeah. But I do like the blue. I think the blue belt looks really cool. Um, you know, I'm good with that. I prefer black, I guess. But, you know, just the blue and red belts were pretty cool. Yeah, same thing. It's just kind of a little too small. Um, let's see how well he can hold a belt. I feel like that's going to be a little too tight of a grip. So I'm wondering if I can do something with this. Um, yeah, it seems to hold it pretty good. Um, let me try to go from the weighted part, see how that looks a little better. So, yeah, let's try with this one too. So I think the other one had just one belt and I just kind of have them holding it with a, you know, over his shoulder or something. Or did I had to kind of make some space? So there's that. Um, let's see. Just do something a little. I don't know. It's like the expression. Just wonder how light it's gonna look or anything like that. So, but yeah, it's pretty good. That's probably my thumbnail there. Um, you know, I think like the real differences here is the head sculpts. You know, obviously you get you know these head sculpts, and that's really nice because we don't get a lot of expression out of Brock until the last couple of years. So. Um, you know, I'm glad to have that. I'm glad to have the figure and all that stuff too. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's, uh, still an excellent figure, you know, just been updated a little bit, you know, new, kind of a new Brock, new figure thing. Just pretty standard stuff for WWE. So, but anyways, thanks for watching.